I have a confession to make. It's not easy for me to say this, especially here and now, but I cannot keep this inside of me anymore. Toastmasters ruined my life. Before Toastmasters, I used to spend all my free time watching Netflix in my pajamas. Now, I'm a member of three clubs. I need to prepare roles, speeches, workshops. I have no free time anymore. Tell me I'm not alone. My love life is non-existent since I joined Toastmasters. Wow, okay. I didn't have a love life before, but it hasn't improved. Before Toastmasters, I had social anxiety. I would do whatever I could to avoid going places I didn't know and talking to people I didn't know. My life was going boringly well until the day my boss told me, you need to speak more in meetings. I have the solution at the next meeting. I'm going to sit right next to you and I'm going to give you a little subtle sign like this. It means you have to talk. Simple, right? No. What does she think? That she just discovered the antidote to social anxiety. A little nudge and that's it. No, it doesn't work like that. I found my own antidote, Toastmasters. Do you remember your first meeting? I hated it. I didn't know it was possible to be this stressed out without losing consciousness. I thought I died every time I accidentally locked eyes with the table topic masters just before he chose this next victim. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, talking about Toastmasters in a Toastmasters contest, not very original. Yeah, I know, but it's not my fault. It's Toastmasters who ruin my life. Now, everywhere I go, I need to talk about Toastmasters. It's like an unwritten law. The other day, I went to do speed dating. Five minutes to get to know the person in front of you. And what do I talk about? Toastmasters. It completely ruined my life. Again, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> okay, but... If those masters ruin your life, why do you keep going? Because those masters ruin the life that I had before. The life where I was always afraid. Afraid of looking stupid. Afraid of people judging me. Afraid of being chosen by the table topic master? Every day, fear was part of my life. Apprehension, anguish, apathy, afraid of saying something wrong, afraid of rejection. Anxiety about what I said. For years, I let my fears kill my dreams and destroyed my ambitions. I thought I could never be a leader or communicator, that it was too difficult, that it was better to quit before I stopped. I was right, in part. It was difficult. It was 
the most difficult thing that I had to do in my life. I wanted to quit many times. Luckily, I'm way too proud to quit. But all the effort was worth it. I hadn't realized how miserable I was before. How I held myself from becoming who I want to be. I was able to overcome my fear in Toastmasters, including by becoming president of two Toastmasters Club and professionally by becoming a coach who helps people who have social anxiety. What about you? Have you ever had a dream or an ambition and found excuses not to do it? It's gonna to be too difficult. I won't be able to do it. I don't have the time. What I hope for you is that you don't make the same mistake I did that you don't let fear cripple you and prevent you from doing what you really want to do. Figuring out what you need to do to get rid of fear in your life is a process that will take time, patience, and efforts, but it's worth it. It will ruin your life in the best way possible. <laughs>